The story begins really in 2005. A small group of us, five or six of us, had this desire to live in community, share life together in really intentional and beautiful ways, and pray together. And so a small group of us moved into a neighborhood in the middle of the west side and simply began to pray. We didn't know anything about the neighborhood. And so we simply began to walk these streets and get to know neighbors and pray. And what we found was a neighborhood that we describe in two words, beauty and brokenness. Beautiful neighborhood, beautiful people, robust, diverse culture, rich history, and yet it's also a very broken neighborhood. A lot of poverty, a lot of brokenness, a lot of hopelessness. It's a neighborhood that for probably five decades has been very neglected and marginalized in the city. So as we moved in as a community, we just began to pray together. And during that time, I was in the house just pacing back and forth and I looked out the window and saw this building across the street. And I just felt like the Lord said, I want you to start praying for that building because I want to do something in that building. So we just started to pray. About six weeks after that four rent signs went up in one of the spaces, we signed a 30-day lease so that we could simply get in the space to pray, to ask God what he's doing in that space. Now during this time, an idea had formed to start a prayer room and a coffee shop. Now about halfway through that 30 days of prayer, we felt like the Lord spoke. And then we felt like the Lord said, this isn't supposed to be a business where Christians will come and gather, but rather this will be a safe place for the hurting and the broken of the West Side. But then he said this, he said the coffee's all supposed to be free, but I don't want you to worry about the coffee. I'm gonna provide it all. What do you do with a word like that? We were young and naive enough at that point to just believe and trust, and so we just started moving forward on this idea of a free coffee shop. Today, the Bridge Street House of Prayer not only runs a coffee shop, but we've got a tutoring program. We've got a summer mission trip program. We do advocacy work here in the neighborhood. All of this work stems back from the idea of simply a prayer room and a coffee shop. In the many years that we've been running this coffee shop, we have never once run out of coffee. We've never asked for it and we've never paid for it. Now there have been days when we didn't know if we'd have enough coffee to make it through the day. And somebody would walk in through the door with a box full of coffee, set it on the table and leave. So for us, the coffee is more than something we simply serve neighbors. It's really a sign of God's faithfulness, that he said he would provide the coffee and he has proved himself faithful over and over again. As long as the coffee is here, that's a sign for us that we're, we're on the right track, that we're being obedient to what God has called us to. So every day we come in here, we recognize that we are brewing coffee that God has provided and every day we're thankful for that. Every day is a reminder for us of God's faithfulness and every day that brings us to a place of gratitude.